Hello everyone, back to another video. And today I'm going to show you how to use a simple report system I made. Um, basically, you open the GUI, select the player, type a reason, and it sends it through a webhook to Discord so the admins and stuff can see it. Um, so the model is going to be in my Discord. So you can join my Discord link in the description to get the model. So basically to do it, all you have to do is get the model, go to my models, and then go to report system, insert it like that. Click OK. And then you want to take template and report these the remote event and the template and put that in replicated storage. And we'll take the report GUI, put that in starter GUI, and then we'll take server report and put that in server script service. Now you want to open the server report script right here. And th this is going to be empty right here, this GUI. I mean, not the GUI, the uh, URL. The URL is going to be empty. So what you want to do is basically go to your Discord server. You want to go to server settings. You want to go to integrations, webhooks, create webhook. And then when it creates a webhook, just set it to the, ch set it to the channel you want. Name it like uh, whatever you want. You can name this whatever, report, or report bot, like that. Copy webhook URL, save changes. Now you want to paste your URL right here. Now, before you do anything, you want to go to this website right here. This is the proxy we're going to be using for uh, since Discord block Roblox for using their webhooks. We're going to be using this proxy to get around that. It's not bannable. People get like scared that they're going to get banned by doing it, but Discord allows it. It's just it's just a simple way to stop spammers and stuff like that. Um, so you just want to copy right here, webhook dot dot dev and replace discord.com with that. So replace discord.com with webhook.lewis2miners.dev. It's also um, right here. You can just copy it like that and then paste it right there. And then that's all you have to do. Make sure your game is published and in game settings and security, you have allow HTTP request on and enables you access to API services on. And then just go ahead and click play. And then once it loads, at the bottom right, there's a button right here that says Report Player. You want to click that. And then right here, it will show a list of players. You want to just click uh, click on the name you want, type a report reason. So uh, this person was ex exploiting and stuff. It won't send unless, the, unless there's actually a player like selected. And there's more than 10 characters in the uh, report box. Oh, I cleared it. This player was exploiting and stuff. And then just click send report. And then the, the cooldown is 10 seconds. So you can't send it again after 10 seconds. And right here, it'll send it to the Discord server. New report. Lewiscape has reported Lewiscape for this player was exploiting and stuff. Account age 2004. That's, the, that's in days, not year. And then user ID and the user ID. Uh, yeah, this is pretty simple to use. Uh, I'm gonna fix this up a little bit to make it like, like add this, like make it a scrolling GUI and make this not clear when you click it before I, I release it. But yeah, um, you can join my Discord server to get the model. Uh, if this video helped you at all, you can subscribe and give me more video ideas and you could be featured in the next video. So yeah.